Let's see what September has. I hope you had a great birthday season. Leo season was quite amazing for me. Um, but let's see how Virgo season and oh my god, can you believe it's September already? Holy moly. It's about to be Libra season. All right. I'm feeling like a Leo with this crazy mane right now. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with my lions for September. Okay. July 21st to August 1st. And this is for you. First decan Leos. First decan Leos, okay? What are the vibes? What are the vibes, spirit? Whoa, are those the vibes? Holy moly, okay. What are the vibes? Huh. You are you are it. You are it. The only thing holding you back is your ability to think differently and uh, being stuck in a rut and being too um, tied to the way thing you think things have to be. So we have get curious in reverse, right? The only limitation is your imagination, Leo, for the month of September. How do we know that? Because the creator has shown up. This is the third time this has shown up, but it's only the second time that it's shown up in the reverse. I mean, in the upright. Okay? You've got the power to create anything that it is that you want. Anything that you desire is at your fingertips. And guess what? The universe actually wants you to be the outlaw that you naturally are. The universe is inviting you to be you. <laughs> Even if it means upsetting other people. For my first decant Leos anyway. We'll see what the other two have to say. But this one, you are encouraged to show up as your full self. Look, you, did you mess around and evolve in Leo season? Did you go ahead and get your reset on? Because listen, you've got the universe. You're pulling the strings. You're pulling the strings. And so if you are feeling held back again, it's because you have not used the power of your imagination effectively. It's because you have not stepped up to the plate as a creator. Also, you have not tapped into the energy and the blessings of the creator. So you might be holding on again too tightly to ideas about how things should be. You're being a little bit stubborn, okay? But that's not the vibes. The vibes are to work with the creator, to work with the creative energies, the cosmos, etc. right? So that you can be more of yourself. So that you can wield the power of the universe. So that you can hold the strings. Nobody's holding the strings here, right? You're holding the strings. You have the power. Okay? Use it wisely. Here's that higher perspective. And this time it's in the upright. So this get curious, it's like, this is a spiritual curiosity. You're invited to come to the spiritual party. You're invited to come to the spiritual party so that you can be the outlaw in the best way possible, All right? so that you can be the outlaw for the universe, not just your ego. That's the invitation. And what is the reward from this higher perspective? 
What is Leo's reward for this higher perspective? What is Leo's reward? First of all, you're lovable. You deserve love. And that's sitting right under the creator. The creator loves you, Leo. And so maybe the reward is coming out of September with a better eye of um, who and what you are. And then also, it uh, says, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Sitting under the outlaw. So when I ask about reward, maybe you'll be better able to pay attention to red flags and deal with them accordingly. Right? Maybe the reward is you being able to be... Um, more proactive in your protection. So then you don't have to be so impulsive, right? So that you're not acting out of fear. You're acting out of faith and you're acting out of love. So this says the, so it's interesting because um, this says separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon and give your relationship a chance in the reverse sitting under the universe. And so what, what I'm feeling from this is that if you are separated from a partner, it's so you can get yourself together, Leo. The universe is actually separating you, right? Work on your partnership. The universe is separating you. Okay, so that you can work on yourself so that your relationship will have a chance. If you're separated from anything else that you're looking for, that you're desiring, it's the same thing, right? So patience, patience, patience. Yeah, we have self-love in reverse. So patience, 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 right? Because your relationship is not going to work if you're not giving yourself self-love first. So you want to love yourself first or your relationship isn't going to have a chance. Okay? So that is what I have for you, Leo. Right? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty beautiful. Higher perspective, you deserve love, pay attention to the red flags, separation, give yourself a chance, and self-love. Ending with get curious, I mean, starting with get curious and ending with self-love, both of these in reverse, I think it's pretty clear, in addition to everything else that I've said, what the vibes for September are, right? We want to start the fall strong so you're doing amazing work be you let yourself be you that's what you're being called to do right be you be your best self be your best you and continue loving yourself and I will see you next time please drop down in the comments let me know if it resonates and yeah that's it bye birthday falls between august 2nd and the 12th you are second decan leo and this reading is for you so i did go ahead and shuffle these because i had to do it again because something happened with the last recording um but much like the first leos um the second leos are also experiencing some separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so you may already be separated from a partner or a separation is coming right and the reason for that is so that you can learn to love yourself better. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then what do we have? We have going forward. So it's like a slow stall, a separation, so that you can walk off into the sunset. That's amazing. So September is going to give you the opportunity to go. Oh my God, I said opportunity. And I didn't even... It's going to give you the opportunity to do something you've been unwilling to do for a very long time, and that is change. And how do we know that? Because change was in reverse. Change was in reverse 
But then the last card we have is delight. So let me tell you this story. So we've got separation so that maybe you need to see the opportunity inherent in your relationship. Maybe you need to see the opportunity in yourself. Because again, this is about loving yourself first. We have love yourself first sitting over change. So your inability to love yourself fully and well is what's stalling you from feeling a sense of delight. So this, this whatever you're doing, this not loving yourself thing that you're doing, that you're engaged in is stalling your relationship from moving forward. And it's also stalling your sense of delight. This is interesting. We have attraction here. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment, fo moment fully. So the invitation that September is giving you is to take this time apart to grow yourself, to enjoy the moment, to enjoy what is to be strong, to be amazing. That is what you are being presented the opportunity to do, okay? We have nature in reverse, right? So there's like this separation. It's not just a separation from a partner, but it's also a separation from a spiritual part of yourself. And we have a lot of nature here. We've got a lot of nature. I'm not sure you're putting enough stock in nature. I mean, I, I guess I know you're not because it's in reverse, right? But you would do super, super well to reconnect to nature, to put your feet in the dirt, okay? Because that is gonna help you raise your vibration and that's gonna help you attract the things that you want into your life. And so those are two very specific messages, going out in nature and really learning to love yourself and taking advantage of any separation that you're having right now. And I think that's it. So no, that's not it. All right, so we have a self-care prescription. Oh my God, nature again, that's it. It wasn't in reverse though, I'm doing that, sorry. You gotta be in nature, looking for them fairies and then getting some aromatherapy. All right, getting quiet, getting still, getting reacquainted with what's really important, okay? That's what September has for you, Leo. Oh my gosh, and then look at this, create art, just sitting there, just sitting there being amazing. Right? So it's an inward month. The invitation is for you to go inward in September. Okay? I love you all. Please drop down in the comments. Let me know if this resonated for you. And um, like, share, and subscribe, of course, because that helps me. And yeah, that's it. Leos. See ya. My third decant, Leos. If you're born between August 12th and August 23rd, this message is for you. So I did go ahead and pre-pull these cards and this is really interesting. Um, this is really quite nice. Wow. Okay, one more. Damn, damn. Okay. So September is gonna offer you the opportunity to have some exciting experiences, feeling excited about life again, starting to see the wonders in the little things that life has to offer. September is offering you the opportunity for love, new love. So the other two decants had love as well. Theirs was more self-love. Um, so that they could experience more love. Yours is like, yeah, I've been doing the work. 
And now I want to just like be in the wonders of love. Okay. Now, if there was a recommendation for you, the recommendation is pretty, it's pretty um, consistent and interesting. Okay. So the first recommendation is to take time in the stillness. Just take some quiet time to reflect. Fall is about the harvest. What have you been harvesting? It's time to take stock of what you've put into the world, okay? Time for you to trust a little more, Leo. Time for you to relax again a little bit. Maybe you've been, you know, uh, putting out a lot of energy, trying to get some task done. You've been taking risks, right? But those risks are leading to blessings. You've got a lot of bird energy here, a lot of um, flight. I'll go back and look at that in a minute. But um, the blessings are here, even if you don't see them yet. They are here, so just go with the flow. Because this is what's coming. I mean, there's no bad news here. This is all good. This is dope. So work on your trust, the stillness, the meditation, I feel like that's going to be helpful for you because maybe if things are going too good, you might start to get nervous and mess it up a little bit, get in your head, want to get in and like mix things up. But no, the vibes are to trust and relax. Okay. Wonders is sitting over trust and blessings. So you can trust what's happening to you. You can trust the wonders that you see around you. All right? Love is sitting over relaxation and flow. So chill out. Go with the flow. If you start to get amped up or, you know, just like untrusting, just know it's all good. It's all good, okay? Maybe for you, being still is taking a risk. But you can be still, all right? Because this is what's on the way. And again, that's super dope. So September, you know, trust in doing these things. The opportunity for fulfillment is here. Straight up. The opportunity for fulfillment is here. That's it. There's nothing else. Okay, I was about to say there's nothing else for you to do. And then, of course, spirits like pull one more card. So hold on. What does Leo need to do in the month of September? What does Leo need to do in addition to all the other things I said? This was a pretty fast reading. What does Leo need to do? Surround yourself with your tribe, people who reflect you. Oh. Write down your goals and dream big. Don't hold yourself back. Tune into your inner peace and be grateful. List 10 things that you are thankful for. You might want to do that every night before you go to bed. Leo, that is all I have. This is amazing. There's no bad news here at all. That's a good fucking reading. And uh, congratulations. So if you made it this far, please drop down in the comments. Give me a little comment. Give me a little crystal ball. Let me know you care. And please like, share, and subscribe because it helps me so, so much. And I'll see you next time. Bye.